Hi again, Higher Art and Design. We're going to be looking at your design unit. Your design unit this year will be an arch architecture design unit. And the first thing we're going to look at is your design brief. So you've been commissioned to design a miniature building which would be suitable for public use in your local area. The constraints of this brief are that the building must be designed with obvious links to visual inspiration. And we're going to look at this in a wee bit more detail later. The building must have a clear purpose or function. You will be choosing its function. Function can be anything from a small lodge, a holiday lodge, or either that, just a tiny home. It could be a spa, a library, a cinema, it could be a cafe. Really, it's up to you. And the building must be a miniature space, no larger than two metres by three metres in total. The structure of the design unit is as follows. You're going to start by picking the theme and you will select investigation images for this. You're going to create a mind map focusing on what you want your building to be and what it needs to have inside it. So for example, if it was a cafe, it would need seating, it would need a small kitchen, it would possibly need toilet facilities, running water, electricity. These are all the things that a building must have. You'll then collect market research images looking at other buildings with a similar function or with a similar theme. You'll develop initial ideas and then you will refine these ideas through drawing and model making, experimenting with the model building and finally you will produce a design that meets the constraints of your brief. On the left hand side here you can see a full design unit this design unit was looking at a shelter for a school grounds. It was inspired, first of all, by a Chinese dragon. They then looked at the spikes. They came up with some initial concept ideas, which they then made models for. They developed their idea and refined it. And finally, they made a final model. This particular unit we're looking at here is similar. It received 81%, which is an A. The brief here again was to describe the design a shelter for inside school grounds. The inspiration, which is a maple leaf. It shows clear links to some drawing that they've done where they are trying to make the shapes a bit more basic. They've then worked with these shapes as angular shapes and made some initial models and drawings. They've refined that idea. They've thought about the measurements and the floor plan of their shelter. Over here, they've refined it down and this is the final model over here. This unit received an A for its clear focused, easy to follow development stream and it would have probably scored higher if they had done some more material and aesthetic experimentation because their unit just looks at metal and the windows seem to be in a very similar placement. They could have done more to experiment with more material and more window placement and possibly change the proportions of the building, making it either smaller or bigger in places. This unit that we're looking at received 96%. And while this is a jewellery design unit, we're still going to look at it because of the level of detail that this person has put into it. The theme for this was communication. And everything on this unit features lettering, texts, manipulation of fonts, and they've got text and written words woven all throughout their final design. The reason this unit scored so highly was due to the amount of experimentation and idea development. And as discussed, the previous unit was missing that experimentation and that look at materials and how things could just be developed that little bit differently. So bear that in mind when you're going through your unit. The more experimentation, the more idea manipulation, and the more that you look at different aspects, the higher you will end up scoring. So task one is going to have you selecting your inspiration and I just want to quickly look at some do's and don'ts for that. 
as you're looking for images, you should select a variety of shapes, patterns and colours. And you should select a theme which gives you a range of things to experiment with. This person here was looking at street art and all the different shapes found in graffiti. And you can see that in their concepts here. And this person here was looking at more natural leaves and hillside dwellings as their market research. And you can see that reflected here. What not to do? Don't limit yourself with a narrow theme too early. Try and collect a variety of images. And don't select pictures that are visually similar. So if you've chosen nature, there would be no point in having five different pictures of leaves. So as previously stated, you're going to go and make a visual mood board. I want you to do this digitally using PowerPoint. This should feature investigation images from your chosen theme and market research images from your chosen theme. So here's an example of an investigation image, which has then helped this person come up with their shell themed building. And here is a shell themed building in the real world as market research. In task two, you're going to come up with some initial concept ideas. For task two, as you can see, there's a whole range of different drawing styles and design styles for building here. I've put this one in because even though it's quite silly and it is a shark, this designer has found a way to refine it into an actual building idea. This person was obviously looking at shells and all the way that that could flow into different building ideas. This one's a more conventional house design and the reason it's here is because I wanted just to quickly look at these floor plan drawings because they know exactly where everything is going to be laid out in their building. And this one is a more angular theme, looking at different angles and triangles and windows and just another style for you to think about. So you can either do this digitally or you can do it on paper. I want you to try and sketch as many ideas as possible to allow you to be able to select more successful ideas to take forward. That's us at the end of the presentation. If you've got any questions about this whatsoever, pop them in the question teams.